Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, September 25th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, about to drive home, yay! And I have with me this beautiful painting of Christ as a child in the house of his parents, well, in the carpentry shop. At the center of the painting is this beautiful intimacy between mother and son. The relationship between the Madonna and Jesus has been the source of inspiration of artists for thousands of years. The love of a parent for the child, at least in my experience, is really the highest form of human love. It's very, can be at times more selfless than other kinds of love and maybe a reflection of the divine love in some small way. Mary, knowing that this was God's son, must have adored him at so many levels. Here she is giving him a kiss. We return today to Second Kings. Naaman is a commander of the army of Aram. He's a great warrior, but he also has leprosy. And the king of Aram really loves him and really values him because he does a good job. And hey, a commander of an army, you can't get a more important job than that. And the king of Aram hears from a servant girl that there's a prophet in Israel, in Samaria, who might heal Naaman of his leprosy. So the king of Aram sends Naaman with a lot of gold and a lot of soldiers and horses and everything to the king of Israel and says, hey, heal the commander of my army. Well, the king of Israel kind of freaks out and says, oh my God, if I can't heal this guy, I'm gonna be in big trouble and we'll probably go to war. Elisha hears the news and says, oh, send the man to me. So Naaman approaches this little hut where Elisha is, and he's got all of his horses and all this gold and all this regalia and officers. And Elisha doesn't even come out of the hut. He sends out a servant who instructs Naaman to go and bathe in the River Jordan seven times. Well, Naaman is mad. He expects a big scene. He wants Elisha to come out and do some incantations or make him do a lot of push-ups or something. And he says, I'm not gonna do that. I can do that in my own land. Now, this is degrading. And he's about to leave in a huff and his officers say, hey, uh, sir, uh, if the prophet had told you to do something difficult, you would have done it, right? Well, why don't you just try it? So Naaman goes to the river and he bathes seven times and his leprosy is cured and his skin is all smooth and healed. And so he goes back to the hut and this time Elisha comes out. Naaman says, I believe in your God. Take all this gold. And Elisha says, no, no, just give that away. I don't need it. And Naaman says, well, I'm going to take some dirt from your land just to remind me that I worship your God, but I might have to worship my God if the king of Aram um, comes with me because I'll have to do that for my own safety. And Elisha says, go on your way. And so Naaman almost didn't get healed because things were too easy. How many times do the gifts of God come to us in such simplicity and with such little effort that we don't appreciate them? How many times do we miss the miracles because they come with just gentleness? Naaman almost missed his own healing because he thought things should be harder. Don't miss out on the good stuff of God because it comes to you naturally or easily. Notice it and give thanks. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of our lives, for the gift of our breath, for the gift of sight and sound and all the miraculous things you gift us without us even really recognizing it. We thank you for children, for flowers and trees, for wind and air. Help us to become more aware of all the gifts that you give us without any effort at all. We ask you, Lord, to help us make the world a better place, to bring your light and your peace to the streets of our cities, to each other. We ask that you would bring us peace and awareness, kindness and justice, a reverence for this beautiful earth that you've given us. Bless the sick, Lord Christ, and all who suffer, those who mourn, those who are lost or lonely, 
afraid. Help us to notice, Lord, those gifts that you give us every single day, and especially the gift of your Son. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.